Brings him across the line. Ambrose getting a big push from Keslowski. Both rows are five drivers pushing each other. Now you don't worry about that water temperature gauge. No, she's cooled down and good to go. The 11 car down below the yellow line there, but he didn't advance his position. But Boyer could not stay with Tony Stewart, and that's cost Tony the lead. The Tasmanian Devil, Marcus Ambrose, two-time champion of the Australian V8 Supercar Series and Watkins Glen winner last year, he's got a shot to win the Bud Shootout. Yeah, he's got Brad Keselowski in that two car pushing him. Ryan Newman in the 39 was pushing those two till they got about halfway down the back straightaway. Kyle Busch's car is dragging the track. Fender's flying. But look and at the here run that him and Tony baby. Stewart's got, Daryl. Here they come. White flag. One lap to go, and Bush pushes Stewart to the lead. Ambrose tucks in in third. That 18 car has got to be a mess. Now, what do you do? But that man wheeling it, he don't care. And this is where you see your two-car tandem right here. Remember, he'll try to beat you when he gets over here. <laughs> you know who that was? <laughs> Steve Addington. <laughs> who used to be Kyle's crew chief and is now Tony's crew chief. <laughs> he will try to beat you. <laughs> One mile to the finish line of the Budweiser shootout. Tony Stewart or Kyle Busch, who's going to win it? I don't know if Kyle's got it. Remember what happened the last time these two were coming to a start-finish line back in the July race? Smoke versus Wild Thing to the line. You got it. I ain't believing it. He timed it absolutely perfect. I ain't believing it. So that's three times tonight he's done the wildest piece of driving I've ever seen. That kid and, is and, such a wheel man. And people wonder why we get so excited about when he races and when he does what he does. There's nobody that can do what he does. By one one hundredth of a second, Kyle Busch is the champion of the Budweiser shootout. <laughs> Look at his race car. It is destroyed. <laughs> Larry, it was dragging the ground, sparks flying out from under it, and he timed that beautifully. There it is on Fox Extreme Slow Motion. Kyle Busch for Joe Gibbs Racing, the winner. That was pretty Look unbelievable. At this. Look at this last lap. Now, in the old style of tandem racing, the pusher could not be the trophy holder. Not tonight. That was a thing of beauty. He timed that to perfection. Jumped out there, got the, got the side draft, and went right by Tony Stewart.